Hello my dear family members, you must be worried about your upcoming interview round at Mindtree, right? Don't worry, I'll share some questions from Java, Python and SQL. If you prepare these, then you can sit for any company's interview. So, let's see. Just remember, if you are from core branch, let's say if you are from electronics, then they can ask you from OSI model, different diodes and their operations, optical communications, design of marks, telecommunication, mobile communication, 2G, 3G, 4G, etc. So to know the exact question and their answers, you can refer to the Java Point website and or, or interview with, okay. And if you are from electrical branch, then they can ask you from transformer, motor, generator and very basic questions from electrical questions like what is the voltage, current, capacitor, resistor, etc, etc, okay. So to get the actual interview questions with their answers, please refer to the Java Point website or interview with, okay and apart from this they will ask everyone some questions from project so what is the project progress status and what is the project main objective and please explain your project and what is the future scope of your project what are the responsibilities of you in your project and if anyone from your project member leave the project or doesn't cooperate properly then how will you handle that etc etc right so please prepare project related questions they will must they must ask okay and except those they must ask technical questions to all so let's discuss one by one so at first let's start with the oops concept okay so they will ask you what is oops and give me example uh, real time example okay what is functional overloading and what is method overriding what are the differences between overriding and overloading and what are the different types of inheritances different types of polymorphism and what are the access modifiers like private uh, and public and like default etc etc right and uh, they can ask some uh, other questions from oops as well okay so these are enough for oops and if you have given java as a skill in your cv then they must ask some question from java is java platform independent if so then how what are the differences between jdk jre and jvm differences between interface and abstract class what are the differences between double equals and equals method and constructor in java and their methods i mean their types and differences between array list and link list i am not giving the answers because this will extend the time so please refer to the java t point or any other website there you will get the answers okay and what are the exception handling how how will you handle exception in java use of the final keyword in java and also try catch and final Please remember this, okay? Differences between string, string builder and string buffer. And from the same question, they can ask like, is is a string uh, immutable? If so, then why? So what is the static keyword in Java? These are all you have to remember, okay? Just uh, 12 to 13 question, these are enough for Java, okay? So please uh, re remember this. This will be very much helpful for any interview you are sitting for, okay? And then they can ask questions from SQL. So at first, they can ask the very simple question that is, what is SQL? I'm not joking, but they will ask very simple questions, okay? What are the differences between DBMS and RDBMS? What are the different joins like inner join, outer join, left outer join, right outer join, and cross join, etc, etc. Please remember this, okay? What are the different keywords like different constants null etc etc okay and what uh, what is normalization this is the question which is specified for CSE or IT brand student okay because this is a, like advanced question so they will ask these questions to the CSE and IT students okay what are the differences between delete parts delete and truncate okay and what is aggregate function where clause you have to be you have to remember this okay and obviously if you are from CS or IT then you have to remember a uh, question how to find second highest salary from an employee table or how to find nth highest salary from an employee table so please uh, remember this or you can practice this okay they can ask questions from this okay and now let's discuss the python related question if you have given questions like if you have given uh, python as a skill in your cv or resume then please remember these questions explain the differences between list and tuple in python and obviously remember the decorators what is the decorators please remember this and what are the different uh, built-in data types present in python so please remember this what is the use of self in python so please uh, remember this okay and how can you handle exception in python and set versus dictionary differences okay so please remember these uh, six to seven questions these are very much repeated in uh, any interview so one time just remember and multiple time reuse this okay so now let's talk about uh, if you are from core branch like e if you are from ece or ee or mechanical branch then 
you must have uh, faced some questions like why are you switching to it why not core so please remember this and prepare this okay and at the end they can ask a coding questions related to very basic concept like reverse string leap year palindrome and greatest among three so please practice this this can be asked okay so they can ask you logic you have to explain those okay and they can also give you notepad to write the code okay and at the end for the csc and it student please remember what is sdlc what are the differences sdlc models like waterfall model agile model and v uh, model and also like uh, spiral model so differences between them and their advantages disadvantages okay so please remember this these are all enough for lta mindry interview before i end the session i would suggest you something don't say no if you don't know any answer then please answer them related to that question like if you have been asked what are the differences between set and dictionary if you don't know then please answer related to those okay if you know only set then please answer related to set you if you don't know dictionary then don't answer but say something okay don't say no okay and if you want all these questions in a pdf then please damn our telegram channel t.me slash you can now just say uh, i want the pdf of lti mind tree okay and i will give you okay so all the best to you